Hello everybody and welcome back to part 13 of this Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. So we're finally back to the, I guess, main campaign. We got through Dead Money. So we are going to start on some of these side quests. It's allowed. Uh, yes Man gave these uh, uh, little side factions to check out. So we're going to start doing some of those. So we have a couple options for the wild card side bets. The Brotherhood of Steel, the White Glove Society, the Omeritas, uh, Great Cons, and Boomers. So we're going to start off with the Boomers. And we'll go through their, every mission they have. Try to, I guess, try to convince them to support us when we try to take control of the Strip and New Vegas in general. So we'll try to convince them of that. And then we'll go back to another DLC. I think the Honest Hearts is what I'll do next, so... For now, I need to go pick up... I think I'm going to stick with... Um, Veronica from the... She's a Brotherhood member as well. I want her there for... Later on when I do... Uh, well, the Brotherhood uh, faction quests. I want her there. So I'm going to stick with her for now. So I need to go back to... where? Where is it? It's like... 188 Trading Post, I believe. I believe this is it. Is it? Yeah, Veronica, right there. Okay, perfect. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? Yeah, because I showed help up. You can't but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. We're like an urban myth. No real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. Yeah, power armor and laser rifles are still effective. Yeah, but only if you've got bodies to fill the suits. We don't take on new members. We're all descendants from the original Brotherhood. Yeah, that's not going to work very well. Change, Long term. Or the empty suits are going to be all that's left of us. I think we should travel Let's together. Let's go make trouble. So. See oh, yeah. Between episodes, because for some reason it wouldn't record, um, I was going to start the video earlier on because I went to the gun runners. Out, outside of the vaults, I made the long walk um, over to some of the outposts to lose some weight. And then I went to the gun runners. I got down just below the carry weight, sold some gold. And I went to gun runners and bought some weapons. I have more in my chest in the Lucky 38 uh, presidential suite, I believe. But the ones I held on to for now are the assault carbine for 5 mil. I have a crap ton of ammo for that 357, so I decided to keep the cowboy repeater and the police pistol. And I still got the hunting shotgun. I bought ammo for that. I kept the sleepy time because it says silent. I wanted to check that out. And pretty much everything else is the same stuff, though. But the assault carbine. And I bought e, the uh, combat armor, Mark II, reinforced from Gunrunners as well. So for now, I'm going to keep the first recon beret at Perception plus one. But we're going to head over to Nellis Air Force Base. Yes. So I got a mole rat ranch, closest place. Please don't aggro. Okay. Chad aggro. So wait, I gotta make sure I'm facing the right way. It is that way. So they're raising mole rats to eat? Okay. Why was the Brahmin? Mole rats are the ones that actually will, like, fight you. Why are the Brahmins the one being, uh, annoying and mean? Makes no sense. I don't know if that's a location to discover or not, but... Something up here, isn't there? I want to get into more fights. There was a lot of dialogue in uh, in Dead Money. And it, it was fun because I, I, I go for a speech build. So obviously I, I want to uh, talk a lot. 
<laughs> obviously. But some of these fights here are really fun. So I want to get back into them. Are y'all anything or y'all just like random people? So Cam addicts. Okay. One of them strip families up and nice. Disappeared. Oof. Yeah. They'll find his body someday. What is this? Just, is, is it just the shack that's the fast travel point? What is this? Field shack. What's in here? Toy box. Don't need any of that. Ammo. Why not? Single 12 gauge round. More 357. I'll take all of the 357. I mean, I guess that's decent. Oh, star bottle cap. Nice. Who is that dude that uh, they said you need to keep an eye out for when you have these star bottle caps? Yeah, I forgot his name. He was... It, I think that dude in... Where was that? Novak? He warned us. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Oh, yeah, speech 30. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way to get past? There is a way. And I'll tell you. For a little wager. Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. That's not a wager. If you give that's me the just... caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. I'm making it. You want to bet? Okay. All right. I suppose I can cut you. You better be here when I get back. Cap lore. I got to make a living here. Okay. Here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. Oh, it's on. It is so on. So are they just like artillery shelling us? Do they just have unlimited ammo? If we just cover to cover, I'm just gonna go... First bit of cover I can find. Oh. Okay. That cover did not help very much. Make it, make it, make it, please. Cover. Oh, God. Okay, I want these guys on my side. I know that right now. Probably went the wrong... Oh, get to the fence, get to the fence, get to the fence. They can't shell right on their own fence. That's how you create a weak point, so... Ooh, I'm coming back for that money. I made it. I'm getting my caps back. Double or nothing. That's what you said.
That's what you said. I got like just straight up rocket launchers. Y'all just walking Hold around right with that. there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Uh, simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Alright, lead the way. Follow... Welcome, oh, child. Just fast travel Took there. your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. How might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around. And okay, none of this prophecy stuff. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hello. On it. I'll help everybody out. Hello. Okay, let me put on this quest now. Help the boomers around Nellis. Let's do this. So, where's the closest one? Is this the museum or something? Or is this actually people? Nellis Medical Station. Got it. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patients to tend to. I have three patients useful. here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Uh... Okay, speech helps, but I do not have enough medicine. Well, I don't know, actually. I suppose it's possible. You should take a look. Can I just, like, stim back them all? Where are they at? Medicine 60 or higher. And medicine 40 or higher. Is there anybody else? Oh, God. I can't help any of y'all. Do I have any uh, medicine books? I mean, even if I do, it's not going to be... It's not going to help. I only have 21 in medicine. Right? I think I only have 21. Okay, well, what I'm going to do... Is do some of these other quests. Come back to him last. And then... Uh, next time I level up. Hopefully from some of these quests. Oh, I'm crippled? What the heck? Okay. So next time I come uh, level up. I'll put a bunch of points in the medicine. For the time being. And then come back to him. Because then I can use... If I get up to... Well, crap. Actually, will I? Because the top one is 60. Hmm. I might not even be able to. What I could do is put the next perk point I get into the Hello. instant level up. And put another point. Because I need to get that up to like 50. If I'm going to 
save any of You're those the guys. Outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mural on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I can spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Probably am. <sighs> are you alright, Veronica? Like, are you okay? There, are you all right? What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. Yes, yeah, same. Okay, are you okay? None of this says... Okay, whatever. Ages Pete. ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. I mean, you're in a vault, so uh, yeah, I get it. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Oh, please tell me I can help y'all, like, salvage a bomber. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. Death from above. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. You can this still be shot destiny. down, though. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Oh, that is a snow globe right there. Look at that. Hello. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. See, y'all came from a vault. Who needs help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Questions about Ask your people's away. history. Why did your ancestors leave the safety of a vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Okay. I don't have the explosive for that. Your people were... Your people were willing to risk it all for freedom? And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? Thank you for not... I'm surprised Nellis was empty when your people found it. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. That's fair. Yeah, I get that. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? How do you survive totally cut off from the world? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. The ingenuity of your people is remarkable. I mean, thank you. completely self-sufficient? Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? What are howitzers doing at an Air Force base? Yeah, because y'all have right. like unlimited artillery, Nellis. apparently. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis. And it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. I wouldn't either. 
Like seriously, that's insane. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? How has Nellis taught you people to fly? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. Oh, nice. We believe nice. they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? How did you learn where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Bye. Okay. So far, they're accepted from the boomers. Okay. So far, they're my favorite. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee. Yeah, but the, these guys play. have artillery. That's where it's different. Y'all don't have no artillery. Artillery is the difference maker. They just have apparently unlimited ammo for shooting people. Which I am all about. This is the hangar. You survived the bombardment. That's incredible. Oh, you're loyal. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Looking for ways to make myself useful. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Got it. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. All right, what what's you on got? your mind? Can I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. Oh, I'm gonna help you with don't that. Don't get blown up. I'm gonna help you rule the skies. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. I mean, yeah. Looking for ways to help out. Anything come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Yeah, where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. I gotta know who this person is, though. So, okay. So, Solar Array.
What mission am I on now? Let me do that one. Oh, they're all over there. Do I even have enough high, high enough repair? I don't know. What am I at? 55. Well, if anything's 65, I can handle it. If not, we're going to find out. There's the array. Let me put on a different weapon here. I want to put on this uh, cowboy repeater. The 1300 rounds of 357 I have. It's kind of useful, so. There, there's an ant problem around here, he said, so. Let's see what they got. Yeah, so far, these are my favorite faction. <laughs> Just literally, we we left the safety of our vault because we weren't allowed to blow stuff up. Okay, you're my favorite. That's, it's just that simple. We wanted to blow more stuff up. Nellis array generators. I can't access that, so... Must be back here somewhere I can... That one's definitely broken. So if they're all 65... Let me make sure they're all 65. 65. Yes. Okay, well, let me make a save then. Because I do have repair books. And I'm at 55 right now for my repair, so... Repair all these. How many more? One more. So I don't have parts for it, but... Oh, there's more over there. Or, no, is that it? Okay. Array's been repaired. And the other dude, Jack, he was talking about an outsider, wasn't she? Wasn't he? I might go do that first. Crimson Caravan Company. Must be around there somewhere. Oh, it was it was literally in Crimson Caravan. Somebody was talking to me. Okay. Red haired. Somebody red haired. Oh, is it her? Bop. Okay. Can I speech you into you should go the talk boomers. to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's nice. Maybe a little naive. Seemed convinced you're the love of his life. Really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask Pearl to make an exception. Yeah, that's messed up. I'm not gonna lie. This is so That's exciting. gonna get her killed by artillery. Let me know how it turns out. If I lie, she's gonna get blown up by the artillery, so I'm not doing that. Okay, ask Pearl. Well, first off, I'm gonna go to Field Shack. Wait, is it? Is it? Yeah, go to Field Shack. I wanna get my caps from, what's his name, George? He better be there. Darn right. I'm gonna get my money back. Double or nothing, you said. I'm getting it back. Where you at? Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive. Is that how you make the money? Loan manager return trip. Just bet that... Yep. Here are your caps. Nah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna extort him. Sorry about that. Poor memory. Here you go. Yeah. Can, actually, can I just walk through this area or they're going to bombard me again? Because there's probably something to loot around here. They've probably killed enough uh, just wanderers. Must be some bodies to loot. Maybe. 
Am I wrong? I guess first off, I need to ask if I can uh, get some of those rocket launchers. Those things look nice. Okay, well, let me just uh, fast travel to Nellis Hangers. Let's go to, I guess we're going to Pearl first. Well, let me just go talk to Loyal first. Tell him I finished his quest. Then we'll go talk to Pearl, see if she'll make an exception. Maybe this will level me up. Then I can go help uh, Argyle in the medical clinic. Hello, outsider. Need something? An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Time for me to go. I'm liked. Perfect. Sunshine buggy. Let me go talk to Pearl. I wish there was a way to get along, around the map a little quicker sometimes. Besides the... Get, you have to get the bunny hop going pretty much. Ain't nothing else you can really do to make it quicker. I mean, I guess if you had higher agility, you might move a little quicker across the map, but... That doesn't mean sister? very much. How is your visit with us going, stranger? Um... Yeah, hey, let me ask this first. More and more, I hear my people saying good things about you. Thank you. Okay, Jack is interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traders? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. It would mean a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision. I outsider. hope you don't. I hope you don't accept this. Tell Jack Janet is interested in him. Evening. Well, if it's right, I can just fast travel to the hangars. It's not very far, but why not? So is that all the repair quests? Where is Jack? Oh, right here. Perfect. Janet Have has a crush her? on you too. The redhead of my dreams. Good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Way ahead of you. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming, and not to shoot at her. Gotcha. Tell... Uh, take the boomer outfit to Janet. Okay. Fast travel back to the Crimson Caravan. I'm accepted by them. I think that's only because I helped... Uh, what's his name? Uh, that dude in Good Springs. Where's Red Hair at? Where is she? Oh, she's right there. Can I, oh, I can. Okay. Janet. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I got a boomer outfit uh, for you to wear while you cross to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Um, okay, I guess I can. I probably have enough speech for it. Oh, it looked like a snow globe there for a second. Eh, whatever. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas Branch. 
What may I do for you? Janet asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just this once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. See, the speech is so freaking good and useful all the time. Got anything like I can take from y'all? Nah. Okay, talk to... Who are you? Oh, Crimson Caravan Guard. Where's Janet at? You're good to go. You'll get paid. Are you even an actual, like, caravan worker, or are you yet? just uh, taking care of Brahmin? That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Well, I, I'm trying to help Jack, not you. I don't care about you. So. Wait, what do I do here? Oh. So Janet's on her way back. Jack is somewhere over here. I mean, y'all have parts of uh, all playing already. Hi. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. Like I said, I can never get enough scrap metal. <laughs> Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. Okay. So let me, like, wait an hour. Jack's here. Is... Janet back? Is Janet here yet? Is this gonna take me out the exit? Okay, well... Give it another hour. Oh, so they're both inside. Perfect. It's great to finally meet you. <laughs> it's so awkward. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. You're Thank welcome, you Jack. Getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Okay. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Yes, I did. I caused it. Who else do I need to help? I'm almost close to leveling up, so I gotta. I can't go to Argyle yet. But is that it? What? Okay, well, I go straight back to Pearl, but I didn't help Argyle and all those guys yet. Was it enough that I just did repairs and met Pete? I don't have the quest for it anywhere, so I guess I guess this is good. So, talk to Pearl. Maybe if they have plans for a bomber, that must be what's next. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I think I've done everything I can to help. I mean, I didn't yet. I wanted to help I Argyle. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. 
he will tell you what to do next. Got it. So yeah, I'm definitely helping with the uh, with Watch the bomber step, plan. Sister. Let me make a save here. The game crashed earlier at the. Uh, I gotta actually save. My game crashed over at the uh, solar arrays. So that was fun. And I can just fast. Wait, he's not at the hangars. Oh, so he's in the barracks. I, w I would rather live somewhere like in the hangars or something like that than a barracks right next to the fence. I'm gonna be honest. Loyal's house. Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. What's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption I know what it that is. could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Yeah. Since I was a young man... I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. I'm in. What do you say? How do you expect to raise the bomber? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. All right. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Yeah, I need to get there without drowning. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Okay, well, where's Jack's house? Oh, is he still in the... So Lake Mead's... Oh, way down there. I can go to Lake Las Vegas. So, I know I'm... Fast traveling a lot. I really don't need to, but it, it doesn't make it quicker. If there is points around here. So Jack has a rebreather, he said. Hey, Jackie boy. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Good for you. Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Okay, I didn't even... I should have read that a little better. It was a speech option, so... Good thing I have speech. So, let's get out of here. Oh, I leveled up. Perfect. 15 points into medicine. Let me put a 35. And then... Let me put a point into guns again. Ah, uh, I, didn't, I didn't get a perk that time. Okay, let me fast travel to Lake Las Vegas. And just go around the around the side here. So Lake Las Vegas, that's an NCR uh outpost, I guess. It took up right on the waterfront. Oh, what's up here? Mountain Shadows Campground. Where's that? Is there anything worth it here? Doesn't really look to be. Okay, let's just go back to, uh... Focusing on getting the lady in the water. Out of the water. If the other... If the other little side factions are even half as interesting... I'll be happy with all these missions. Let me equip that rebreather real quick. Okay. 
There we go. Water breathing added. Well, I'll always carry the rebreather then, if that's the case. It's probably going to be sometimes I have to go underwater, so... I'll keep that on me forever. What is that? There's something. Make a save. Before we get too far here and I crash, like, underwater. There's icons. Who are y'all? What the heck are you? Good thing I have 13,000 rounds. Okay, Veronica is good. Okay, thank you, Veronica. I'll take it. Lake Lurk meat. What the heck? I mean, obviously it's radiation, but where'd they, uh, where'd they come from? Where's it at? Uh, something don't look right. Oh, this is a top of the water thing. Oh, jeez. I did not even see that. I almost died right there. Oh, I lowered my perception. Thank you. Freaking super stim pack, I guess. Jeez. How did I not even pay attention to that? Okay, reload, please. Okay, more stim packs. Hey, Veronica, can you get out of the water, please? I almost got y'all. There's that one. If I could hit this freaking shot. There. Okay, let me sunset fast for a little, I guess. Oh, jeez. At least I get some ammo back. Oh, pre-war money. I'll take all that. I'm gonna loot this whole place then. Y'all better have something. Oh, that's empty. Missile. That's what I want. Okay, two more platforms to loot. Super stim pack is worn off. Thank you. Y'all don't even have any meat for me or nothing. It's empty as well. Wasteland Survival Guide. Okay. One more platform. Y'all got anything useful? Five mil. Okay. Now let's go back underwater here. Where is this thing at? How far into the lake is it? Must be pretty far here. Yeah, I wonder what the... Because uh, lake lurkers are obviously from radiation. But what are they from? Like... What animal was that? Before they got hit by so much radiation apparently. Jeez, is this on the other side of the freaking lake? Did I come at it from the wrong side? This is way over here. Oh, I see a wing. Here we go. Oh, so this is the fast travel point. What's this one? This one's pretty close. 
Oh, this is a ship. Or is this the cave? Might be the cave down here. Lake Mead Cave. Y'all have a ship right here, so... What's on the ship? Eh, I'm just gonna worry about the plane. Where do I attach these at, then? I assume I just attach them to, like, a wing on each side. Right? Oh, right there. I can see, see the out, out outline. Really? Go to the front side. Thank you. Attach ballast. There's that one. Let's go to the other side. Okay, let's go up. Oh, towards the tow winch. Way over there. Is that a lake lurker on the top? I feel like that's a lake lurker on the top. Oh, so th this lake has zero radiation. Wow. Wh then why are the lake lurkers there? That can't be just something that just actually pops up in, in uh, nature. So how does this have no radiation if lake lurkers exist? I don't believe that for a second. Oh, I thought it was a freaking mine. Alright, I'm back. I had to step away for a minute. So, okay. So I trigger the detonator. Loyal's detonator. I wasn't even looking at it. That's my bad. Return to Loyal. Nellis Hangers. Okay, let me put back on hunting shotgun. Actually, I might keep the police pistol on for a lot of the time. That increased critical. Handy. And I can't hit a shot with a cowboy repeater to save my life. Just can't do it. Loyal, stop walking away. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. I already did. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Um, I don't have the intelligence for that. That's great. Can I take a Mentad or something and redo that? Scotch. Really? I've become addicted. Isn't that bu No, I can't huh? even... I've become addicted and I can't even do that conversation again. Fantastic. So, I'm addicted. Can I... Is there anything I could do to... Clear addictions? That's temporary addiction removal. None of this helps. So there's temporary addiction removal. But I need, like, permanent. So I gotta go to a doctor, don't I? Let me go see uh, Argyle in the clinic. I think the clinic's over here. Uh, see if he can see if he can remove my addiction. They like me, so hopefully he can. Are one of these the clinic? Nellis Schoolhouse, and you are m medical station. There we go. Hey, Doc. If I haven't said it before, outsider, let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Word from Pearl is that you're to be greeted as a friend. I need medical treatment. Seeing as you're a friend of... I need help with addiction. I can unburden you of that. Three doses of Radaway. Right Hold away. still. This'll burn for a moment. 
Okay. You spare any medical supplies? Done right. We recently started making our own stim packs, but we just don't have them. Oh, so y'all can make stim packs. We may get all of this. I don't need grenades or knife, but. Because I can give you some uh, pre war money. Probably about. Only have to pay 202. So I have uh, items. Where is it? NCR dollars. I might go to the casino one of these days and. Uh, and try to play some blackjack. I get kicked out. I don't have the luck build for it, but I can just keep going. So I'm gonna get rid of this cowboy repeater. I have the assault carbine. I'm probably gonna have to use that, but I can't hit a shot with this 357. So Thanks. I got plenty of more stim packs and some more Rataway. Right Why am I stuck in this conversation? Oh, he hasn't done the addiction removal yet. Yes, Outsider? Bye. Once I get medical up, I'll make a note of that to come back and help those guys. Let's go talk to Pearl. What the heck is that? Pearl's Barracks. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Spoken to Loyal, the B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. There may be a battle in the near future at Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity Dude. to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. If in that final battle, Bye. I get to see a B-29 bomber flying over the Hoover Dam, all of my dreams will be complete. Okay. So I hope that's the case. You just get to see... Okay, so you can tell them that the boomers have vowed to support you. Okay, so... I don't know if I want to do some more uh, side faction quests or go straight into Honest Hearts. I think I'm going to go straight into Honest Hearts. So that's probably where we'll pick up next time. I'll probably start off in the New Vegas Strip. But we... Completed the boomers. They are freaking awesome. I would recommend doing this this faction. 100%. I might, uh, in between videos, see if there's any way to uh, buy some of these rockets from anybody. I don't know where to even go for that, but I'll find out. But next time, we'll take carry off in New Vegas and start the Honest Hearts DLC. So, I'll see you on the next part. Take care.